Hello. Josh's car is so fancy. <laughs> I have my mask. I just got ready. I'll probably have to get re-ready after I get back, but it's now eight o'clock and I am headed to Lowe's. Um, I'm gonna get some stuff for the built-in I want to try and make. I'm really hoping it works out. So, wish me luck. uncomfortable. I got double ratchet straps. <sighs> Some people are really nice at least. As much as I like to be like I'm an independent woman. I don't need no man. I don't need no help. I definitely needed help with this. So thanks to the main property guy that helped me figure this out. <laughs> so, as we can see, I have made it home. I now have to figure out how to use a goddamn ratchet strap to get this undone. And I'm going to put it in the garage and do some measurements. I just want to say thank you to the men in the Lowe's aisle that refused my help when I told them I didn't need it to put some plywood in my cart. Um, thank you to the guy in the parking lot that helped me ratchet strap this. And by help me, I mean he did everything. Um, and yeah, thank you to him to give me the balls to drive this thing home as well. So I'm going to set you up. I'm going to unload and I'm going to do some measurements. All right. So per Josh's recommendation, I thought I should draw this out. Yesterday he's like, you gotta draw it out so you know what you really wanna do. And I'm like, no, 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 I don't need to do that. So I'm gonna do that. Really what I need to do is 84 inches times two, 18 inches times two, 16 inches times three for the legs and then 14 times at least four I think or at least three for supports and then if I have more we'll do that so I'm gonna measure that out so I'm gonna save the plywood for last too because that's just something that I don't need to worry about at this moment these by myself I think I'm gonna have Josh do it because I don't know how to use the saw honestly so that's that if this works I'll be amazed honestly and if not I'm gonna be upset but I won't be surprised does anyone else get scared when they pull in a tape measure like it's gonna suddenly snap and break in half or something I don't know but anyway so I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six support beams, which is good. And then, yeah, I'm gonna find some studs actually on the wall inside and just mark those. And then hopefully when Josh comes home today, he can cut these for me and we can start assembling at some point. Um, if by some weird coincidence, the man that helped me in the lowest parking lot is watching, I have your ratchet strap. Otherwise, it's ours now. <laughs> All right, so this is the wall I want the built-in to be on. Hi, Nico. I don't know if that means there's a stud. What's up? Um, I think my hiking video is going to go up before this one, so that's why I look like this, though. I just hiked a mountain, but now that I'm back home, 
I'm gonna assemble the frame of the bench first and get this all together. So I'm gonna time lapse me drilling everything in so I can bop around to some music. You know when you have over a thousand songs saved, so some of them just aren't good. But there's these days, they don't come, there are very few and far between that you hit shuffle, but everything is good. That's today. So I'm going to enjoy that. I'm going to continue to listen to my music while I set this up. So enjoy. I took a video mid mental breakdown about what was happening. So I'm gonna trash this and patch the holes in the wall. I'm really frustrated. Literally, I've put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten holes in my wall, and it's still not doing the right thing. <sighs> Thanks for watching me build this bench. <laughs> and I realize I should probably chill out. Granted, I'm fucking pissed off, but I've put, um, I don't know, 10 holes in the wall over there. My floor is disgusting. Um, and nothing good got accomplished. So everything's back in the garage, I'm pissed off, and it didn't work out the way I expected. <sighs> so I'm gonna vacuum. Sometimes DIY projects don't work out. Especially when you try to fucking woodwork for the first time ever for no apparent reason. My usual DIY projects are like th this art. <sighs> Thanks for watching. It is the next day from my mental breakdown. Am I still frustrated? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess studs, according to the internet and Josh, are supposed to be 16 on center. According to every carpenter ever. According to every person on, on the face of the planet. Except... Our fucking house, whoever we built our house. Google search. Yes, through Google, we found that they're either 16 or 24 inches. So after putting 13, more than yesterday, 13 holes in the wall, we finally found some studs. So I'm going to go to Lowe's. My plan is I'm going to drill a 2x4 into the studs and then drill the bench into the 2x4. Will it work? Who fucking knows? Will it be able to support our fat asses? We'll see. Let's hope. Let's hope our friends don't sue us. Could you imagine? You guys, can you even fucking believe it? All I have to do now is sand and stain, but wait, look at the fucking disarray. Ready for this? Look. Oh, look at this. So exciting. I did something. What's up? I'm in the DIY gear, so we know it's going good. The bench is going well. Like, I think I'm feeling pretty good about it right now, so I'm on a high. I'm gonna stain it with the red oak wood finish. I stain everything that I have, basically, in this. Like, our bedside tables are this color. I like the dark wood look. You guys it is stained all I'm gonna do after it dries is do the clear stain what's it called polyurethane polyurethane so that's what I gotta do and then it is officially done uh, glad it actually ended up working out I think I'm gonna get um, like a few mats or like pillows for it or something we'll see that is the DIY bench Josh do you like it <laughs> I do Look, look, look good. Success. Thanks for watching. If you like this, like it, comment something, and subscribe. Bye.